so now let us uh, see um, the other way of uh, preparing for the certifications um, especially spark related certifications using uh, big data labs uh, or big data developer labs which is provided by labs.itvst.com and uh, you can click on this link or you can uh, also type https labs.itvst.com okay so here i am signing out and this is how it will look like uh, to begin with uh, you will see sign in or sign up option uh, like this and uh, if you are not sure about the plans you you just click on the plans and these are the plans 1495 for 31 days 3495 for 93 days and 5495 for 185 days okay you can click on this sign in and sign up and uh, you can sign up either using social authentication such as google facebook linkedin etc or you can also uh, click on this sign up for the local authentication here you can set give the name email password and confirm the password and uh, you will be permitted to log into the lab once that is done once the sign up process for the lab is done if you log in so again you can click on this uh, uh, whatever approach you you use to log in so in this case i'll be logging in using uh, my email id um, uh, if you are if you don't have active subscription you will be directed to this page and you can click on enroll now and uh, it will take you through paypal gateway and take the payment and then it will redirect you to uh, wherever uh, wherever uh, uh, we started with page something like this okay and you will see create user option for the first time you will not see the credentials directly once you make the payment you will see the create user option for the first time once you click on the create user uh, if the user is available to you uh, whatever is displayed or whatever you have modified it will actually get you the access onto the lab and it will give the credentials so this is the username this is the password and this is the your um, button uh, to open web console so that you can connect to the lab and also there are quick links here where you can uh, uh, get more information uh, depending upon your uh, necessity uh, when you start learning the big data okay so for now i will just limit how to access the open console and also uh, i will give a bit uh, uh, overview about my cluster configuration okay here you can click on open console it will open uh, uh, something similar to linux terminal um, uh, in the web itself uh, and prompt for your username and password and you can get the username and password here so this is the username you can paste the username here and this is the password so when you are pasting the username or password make sure once you click on this button it will be copied to buffer but you can see that this rectangle is hollow which means that it is not ready to accept the paste so make sure you click on this and now the rectangle become bold and then paste it and it will not display here because password needs to be secured and hit enter now you you connected to the lab okay so this is how you can connect to the lab and it has uh, eight nodes um, uh, sorry 10 nodes in the cluster uh, that you can actually click on this page called ambari or the link called uh, ambari and the same username and password can be used uh, to log into the Ambari also. So here D G A R A D G A D R A J U is my username, and I already have the password in buffer. So I just pasted it and click on sign in, and it takes uh, me. It it took me to the uh, Hortonworks uh, Ambari. Uh, hotworks is the platform which i use to set up this environment and if you click on hosts it will show you the cluster configuration you can see there are 10 nodes in the clusters and each of them is 8 gb uh, sorry 8 cores and 32 gb ram so it's pretty powerful state of the cluster and also if you look at the services you can see you have hdfs yarn 
um, uh, Spark, Hive, whatever is required for the preparation of our certifications purposes. It can be uh, this environment can be used for most of the big data developer certifications, um, um, uh, and uh, uh, you got a proper cluster where you can practice uh, um, with uh, considerable data sets. That being said, I will also want to show how easy to launch Spark and practice. So in this case, if I want to practice using uh, uh, Scala. Uh, and uh, start exploring Spark APS with Scala as programming language, I can just say Spark shell hyphen hyphen master yarn conf spark.ui.port. Don't worry if you don't understand what I'm trying to do here. Uh, this is the standard way of launching Spark shell on the cluster. Here we should use a five digit uh, port number uh, between 10,000 to 65,535. Uh, so that uh, we get uh, uh, a web service running when we launch Spark shell. You will understand those things when we actually get into the details about Spark and all. And hit enter and uh, uh, it will launch the Spark shell uh, with Spark context and all and you can start practicing. So within a minute or two, uh, you will have the environment from nowhere um, and it, it has 10 nodes in it and you have all the services that are required uh, for the for the preparation of the certifications, on top of uh, uh, the services on a ten node cluster, it also comes with uh, predefined data sets. So you don't need to worry too much about setting up data sets and all on your uh, PC, uh, you uh, or on your uh, sandbox. You go ahead and start using the data sets which are already available. So here I'm just typing SC. To make sure Spark context is created without any issues, and also I'm just re reviewing that there are no exceptions. It looks good. Now I'm exiting from it, and uh, you can see the pub, uh, the uh, data sets that are available uh, on the lab already. This is local file system. Uh, I'm running ls hyphen ltr, and then trying to run. Uh, uh, try, trying to see what all directories and files we have. You can see uh, there is a data set called nysc git uh, retail underscore db cards nysc underscore symbols hr crime etc. And if you want to look at the size, they are not into terabytes but they are good enough to practice. So if you look at uh, crime you have 4.3 gb worth of data and also you can get data sets in HDFS also. So Hadoop FS hyphen LS uh, is used to get the details about our files in HDFS which is Hadoop distributed file system and the files are under public and uh, you can see the, the, uh, all the directories which you see locally are there in uh, uh, HDFS also and if you want to check the size of all these files you can say du hyphen s hyphen h slash public and it is 129 GB so you can actually uh, use these data sets uh, to practice for your purpose that being said I hope you will enjoy using the environment uh, for practicing in the pursuit of preparing for the certifications and uh, give your best, so bet best shot on any certification you are preparing